in this video, I want to spend a few minutes showing you how you can use BARD to carry on a conversation to practice your listening and speaking skills in English. Open up a browser, doesn't really matter which, and I'm going to use Chrome for this example. Now, before I do show you an example of this, let me show you a recent result. When you get your results from BARD, you're going to have an option to collapse the response. And so since we're focusing on listening and speaking, when as soon as the result appears, I would collapse that and then select this, this icon to the right where you can hear the response. All right, so let me show you an example here. I'm going to use my microphone and my phone to record my first question. And I'm going to start with a question so that I get a response and then practice a follow-up question and and go back and forth here th through various exchanges. So I'm going to ask a question. What's the most popular sport in Mexico? Now I'll submit my question and I'm going to, as soon as I get the, re the first response, I'm actually going to go down, not even look at the response, and select either a shorter response or more casual. For this purpose, for this example, I'm just going to select more casual. You can experiment with this to see what kind of responses you get. Typically, you're going to want shorter responses so that you can go back and forth, you don't get a lengthy response unless you're wanting to focus more on your listening comprehension and you want to uh, listen to longer text or longer responses. Now in this case I'm going to class, collapse the response and then I'm going to hear the actual response. Okay, and then you can continue on hearing the entire response and then follow up with another question based on what you hear. So this is going to be good practice for you to listen and try to extract more information. That is to get more information as you're listening to the response, go deeper and deeper into a particular aspect of the response. You want to try to follow up or offer follow-up questions so that you can and dig deeper into the topic that you can uh, go into a particular topic of interest and really take the conversation wherever you would like based on on the response so you just follow up with this process when you hear the response and you're you're ready for a follow-up question you submit again the next question and you continue on this way it's not a perfect way of doing this. Um, it's a little bit cumbersome having to go down and select these or modify the responses, but I think it does serve a purpose in helping you not only present questions or to ask questions and check your practice, your, your grammar and forming questions, but also uh, your listening comprehension and being able to understand and extract certain details from the response that you can then follow up with another question.